Hey kids, let's talk about fountain pens. Okay, now what we have here are three Fisher Space Pen style fountain pens. This one is a Jinhao pocket missile with a glossy finish. This one is glossy and uh, it feels like it's uh, covered in in a small in a thin layer of plastic but uh, I don't I don't think it's it's like that. What I like about these pens are definitely the size. Here's a ruler. And if you're not metric, not measuring metric, they are just under well, basically three and three quarter in quarter inches or nine and a half centimeters when closed and open. They are about five and a quarter inches or thirteen centimeters. So a uh, decent size for a pen, definitely. Um, what do I have to compare? Right here I have a new pen. This is a Hero 704 stainless steel with gold accents. So this is uncapped 12 centimeters, 12 and a half, something like that. Capped, of course, it's a little bit bigger, but it's an overall bigger pen because that's how it looks next to each other when they're closed. Enough with this one. So uh, these fountain pens are very very cool. They go for around three euros and seventy-five cents. That's about five dollars on eBay shipped. The tricky thing with those is the product page and the product picture of the eBay sellers are mainly the same. But this one I got first. This one has a matte finish. They are all made out of metal by the way. But this is matte. And it it feels colder to the touch than this one. Because this one, as I said, feels like it's covered in, in a thin layer of plastic or something. Well, I got this one first. And uh, two weeks after that, I uh, received it in the mail, and I loved it. And a week after that, I uh, wanted to get the exact same one again. And what I got was this one, a glossy one. So they do don't only differ in uh, their finishes. Their sizes are just a little bit different. I don't know if you can see that, but the matte version is capped just you know, two millimeters longer and uh, this one feels a little bit thicker in hand too be maybe because of this layering over um, the actual actual material and uh, the funny thing is while the matte one is larger uncapped uh, larger when closed with a cap on it's smaller when uh, when the cap is slid on behind it well i compared those two before and the cap goes exactly the same distance uh, on the back which is kind of weird but three millimeters are three millimeters that's how they look in hand. And this one, up top, up top. This one is a chrome colored Yiren, I think I pronounced that right, 3001. This one is not, mm, not uh, branded Jinhao, 
and it's just a little bit bigger. Well, actually, a lot bigger. That's five millimeters right there. And the clip is different. Very different. Let's compare the caps. Caps are about the same, same size, and may, maybe a millimeter longer. The chrome one. And this one just looks very, very funky, very spacey, space-ish. Very, very cool pen. And the, the thing with those pens is they have little aerometric converters, Come on. which don't hold a huge amount of ink. So the bladder is only a quarter full. But those numerous drops of ink, they will get you maybe through one and a half standard college notebook pages without a problem. The nibs, why am I closing those up? The nibs on those pens are also a little bit different. So uh, my first one was this one, the matte one. And the nib is basically two millimeters shorter or one millimeter shorter than the one on the glossy version. And the one on the glossy version, I don't know if it is because it's a little bit further out the front, it, it feels a little bit smoother. Those pens are extra fine nibs, have extra fine nibs, and uh, a hooded design. So, very, very cool pens. Just for a comparison with other pens, other portable small pens. There is a uh, Otto Tasche I reviewed before. Just a, just a tad bigger, but basically. The same size as the biggest one, the biggest uh, pocket missile fountain pen. There's another po uh, portable pen that's a uh, online brand pen, German company. They actually sell those in drugstores. I saw. That was very weird for about six six euros. That was crazy. Drugstore fountain pen and it writes extremely extremely well. So th those are these pens. Isolami Vista, just to give you an example for size. I totally rec recommend those pens for you if you want a portable pen, if you want to have a pen always on you. Great EDC option, and uh, you can totally forget about it. You put it in your pocket, and it's always there, and you it doesn't take up much space. You can, yeah. You can take all three of those with you and you won't notice that you have three of them with you. And <laughs> if you actually take multiple of those pens with you, you have actually a decent, decent size uh, of uh, ink with you. So that's it. I hope that was a little bit uh, helpful for you. I know my camera setup is a little bit stupid, but get those fountain pens and uh, have a great day